I accidentally pressed the wrong button. Wow. Well, there's multiple. Uh, I have several answers for you. We have time. <laughs> Thank goodness. So one of it is, is God isn't a thing. Everything is God. Your God. So he just asked her the question. I pressed accidentally pressed the wrong button. Um, but yeah, he just asked her the question. Why is an all loving, powerful God um, not intervening, not helping? Why is he letting all the problems that humans are facing? Oh gosh, this light is awful. Um, the sun has just popped out and it's, it's now creating huge amounts of shadowing. Um, but yeah, um, why, does, why is God allowing that? I'm God, every being on the planet is God. And what has happened is that we had a disillusionment of our consciousness. So when we're looking at things that are occurring in the world, and Earth is a very unique, you know, uh, vibrational area, right? There aren't that many physical realities. It's weird. Why does God allow terrible things to happen to humans? I'll just ignore the shadowing. Um, and then her response is, you're God, I'm God, he's God, she's God. What the fuck? This is, it's actually kind of annoying me how you can get people that know absolutely nothing about God claiming to be God and saying the reason why God does nothing is because we're God and we can't do anything. So that, that was basically her, her argument. It's quite annoying. In all of the cosmos, there's many more non-physical realities where you can't kill anything. You know, you can't kill ants. You know, it's like, right? It doesn't because energy can't be destroyed Created or destroyed. Right. So, <laughs> so it, you know, nobody. You can't kill ants, by the way. It kills anyone, right? But it, in a physical reality like this, what we're all learning to do is to believe that we're God. We're all part of the experience. And then the other aspect is this is not a permanent reality. Even glaciers don't want to stay here forever. Nothing is permanent. Right, nothing is permanent. So in a physical reality, the way you move from one dimension to the next is that the body or the glacier or something has to die. It has to not be in existence. The physical form has to die like the glacier has to melt. Right. So For the water to go back into this. Is right. Happen. So in this physical reality, when the gazelle is being eaten by the lion, it's because the gazelle wants to leave this dimension and go to a different frequency. Mm. That's what it wants. Because this is temporary and it's not permanent, we all want to go to a different frequency or a vibration at some point. We all wanted to come here. We all knew what Earth was like. We were not confused about it. We knew that we would have a body. We knew that wars would exist here. We knew what the educational system was like. We knew everything before we came here. We we're extremely conscious before we pass through the veil and come. Okay, so you can't really see a face very clearly. Sorry, the, the light is, is really terrible. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. I'm really, I'm angry because I want to be making fucking good videos and I can't be making fucking good videos because I just feel like no one wants to help me make these videos. So I'm really, really angry about these things. But this is, this, this is ridiculous. This is insane. Someone's going on there with absolutely no information, no knowledge of anything, but it's, I'm God. What everything she's saying here is just nonsense. It's it's just as ludicrous as the idea that someone's been in a spaceship and is going is being flipped, flown around to all the different planets of, of the galaxies and being shown around like as a, as some sort of tour guide by some aliens. I mean, that idea is is completely ridiculous and and obviously not true. And then the idea that she knows that you know like the glaciers, you know, it melts and then when it when it melts, well, it all right, all the water rises up again and then it melts again. And and that's exactly like us going on to a different world. The, the gazelle wants to be killed because the gazelle wants to go on to a different dimension. I mean, there is some truth to it. There is a, some some truth to it. For a gazelle to become a lion, it needs to die. So if a gazelle has a couple of lives as a gazelle and then dies, eventually it's going to not it's not necessarily a frequency but it's going to gain more intelligence and eventually it's going to become a lion and but it doesn't want to die no animal wants to die because no animal realizes that when they die they're going to go on somewhere better and so for her to make a statement as in they know that they're going to go somewhere better no this is not true the, the stronger animal has won and the, the weaker animal gets eaten that's just how it is and it's cruel and it's tough and this is how it is with humans humans don't want to die if you are burnt in a fire and are covered in in scars all over your body you know you want to live even though you actually don't realize that if you died you would just be given a new body hence you don't have to live your whole life with huge amounts of scars all over your body you could just die and get a new body and you'll be reborn again new parents new new life new everything you know 
gazelles don't realize what she's saying is is not true gazelles don't realize that when they die they go to become another animal perhaps even the same animal um perhaps a bear perhaps a a lion you know that they, they go on to do that or a leopard um humans likewise also don't realize that when they die they go on to to come alive so this woman's just i don't know it's it's, it's frustrating me how she looks kind of intelligent you know I, I would love to believe that I can tell how intelligent someone is by how they look and it's just it's just not the truth you, you know how how accurate people are by the number of things that they got wrong you know she also the beginning of this video was about how she was um thought Carmela was going to win and and she didn't and to me I, I had no belief that Carmela was going to win then I mean there's a tiny little portion where she seemed to be getting quite a lot of promotion and I was thinking I think she actually got a better chance but people were saying that oh she's got a higher chance of winning than Trump and I was like I, I never believed that I was like I'm glad that people think that she's got a higher chance because that makes it look like there's an actual battle going on but to me I, I thought Trump had so much so much more of an advantage just because you know, there's a lot of sexist and racist people in the country so why have you got Kamala as as one of the options uh, as one of the only two options um but um I, I just um yeah but it, it was nice to have that but she thought that Kamala would win and uh, and therefore I just feel like that's kind of proof that she's she's not a psychic and she doesn't really have truth but yeah I wanted to see what else she says and just the, the this idea she's just everything everything she says we knew what our life was going to be like before we came here uh, and you're getting information where like it's, it's like imagine reading a science book but imagine that science book that your teacher gives you and, and is given out to all the people in your school. Imagine if that science book was actually just written by someone who's just isolated in some sort of hut in a random location and done absolutely no research into anything. I'm, I'm just te saying my beliefs because this is what my belief is. I believe that when we die, our bodies go into a different dimension and we go to a different place. And this is, this is what I believe and I'm going to call it, I'm going to say, I'm going to promote this as being the truth even though I have absolutely nothing to back this up and why do so many people do it you know people back up the idea that aliens were here they watch other fake videos of people and they think you know what? I want to make a fake video of a UFO and then they give that out and then maybe they forget and, and then a whole bunch of other people take this video and say you know what? I want to make a fake video and then you have just got this sort of Chinese whispers of different people making all these lying allegations false allegations of, of ufos and then we've got all these idiots that go around calling insulting other people who don't believe in ufos and then of course you've got the idiots that insult people for believing in, in ufos but it's just it's just creating a huge amount of problems and and then you get more people coming in with oh i have a new idea this this idea of your consciousness just needing to get into a higher frequency and then we can get into a higher dimension now, i'm not saying that there's no truth to that that there is truth to it i do think you can get into a higher dimension but i also think that you shouldn't start saying things that aren't backed up with anything you know i am god you are not god and if if the answer to why god is allowing all this stuff is because you are god you are god and you he is god she is god and and we are all working together to try and do things but um yeah then you're basically saying that you don't believe in god that's basically what you're saying but yeah these people don't even believe in god they don't believe in god if they, if they think that they are god then it means that they don't believe in god they just see themselves as being better and because they see themselves as being god they feel like they have the the right to talk about this I mean, i'm not necessarily against it you know i know there's there's if people want to believe in this stuff then that they might think that killing themselves is going to get them into a higher dimension and then they will probably start believing that and i, I know that there's probably going to be a, a ton of people wanting to I've heard something about today about there being sex rituals that help higher your frequency and then and then um, that's how you get into um, then gain more power or something through sex rituals or something I don't know I heard there was a video about that and, and yeah I guess this is a similar idea but at the same time there's no real proof that sex rituals higher your frequency and, and help you to um, gain power through the energy that you've caused I think though sometimes murder can be you know if you're causing um trauma on people there can be a lot of energy behind that um but yeah that's um it's rememberable you know the gladiators there was a lot of terrible things happening there but i do think there's a high energy around the gladiator around the whole gladiator ring and it's and it's a confusion when it comes to the gladiators because you don't know who to blame you know i feel like there's there's 
there's you know there was a lot of people forced into that and and they didn't like it and it caused a huge amount of trauma but if the people wanted it if the the audience wanted it if the people that went into this coliseum were cheering and and were gaining something from it or felt like they were gaining something from it you know the matrix then would be like well who do i blame we can't blame the people at the top because they're only just giving the people at the bottom what they want and and you can blame the people at the bottom but there's so many of them and and um and and yeah that's um that's kind of that's kind of how it is come to the earth realm um so we're waking up in these experiences to recognize that we are part of creation we are part of god and this kind of and yeah. seeing the beauty with i want to just just mention and go to a different i want to just reach reach um, out what she said well, more... hey why does it seem so um, hard to sell again. I'm just going to replay what well. she just said there, because it's, it's, it is kind of... Multiple. Uh, I have several answers for you. We have time. <laughs> Thank goodness. So one of it is, is God isn't a thing. Everything is God. You're God. I'm God. Every being on the planet is God. And what has happened is... No, you're wrong. ...that we had a disillusionment of our consciousness. So when we're looking at things... No, the disillusionment is you thinking that you're God things that are occurring in the world and earth is a very unique you know uh, vibrational area right there aren't that many physical realities in all of the cosmos there's many more non-physical realities where you can't kill anything you know you can't kill ants you know it's like right it doesn't because energy can't be i think there are some non-physical worlds um where you can't do anything because um because it, nothing's like physical um i do believe in that but i i don't know I used to have these really big fantasies about wanting to create like just a massive, massive roller coaster that just goes into like all sorts of like like some sort of magic world where it just goes round and you can see the mole people and then it can go up into this and then you just like literally just use the power of your mind to just create lots and lots of things. And I also used to think there was a world where you could just like go to find all the nicest houses on earth and then just press or think copy and paste and then you paste it into some other sort of like like the matrix to have like these pocket worlds I, I i believe this but i'm not saying that it's the truth i'm not saying it's real i'm not saying that it's 100 percent the truth i'm just saying that this is my belief and if she was to promote this as her belief then that's fine but i i she's not presenting it as her belief she was she's presenting it as this is the truth just like someone who's making up stories about aliens they won't present it as this is just what i believe or this is something that I want to say happened to me but I know didn't you know they're presenting it as this is the truth this did happen to me and, it, and it's not the truth but yes I do think that there's a world where you can like like a non-real world but you you become real because you are part of that that pocket that you have created I do think that's possible but um but yeah I don't know um she's not right on anything destroyed or destroyed right so <laughs> so it you know, nobody kills anyone, right? But in, in a physical reality like this, what we're all learning to do is to believe that we're God. We're all part of the experience. And then the other aspect is, this is not a permanent reality. Even glaciers don't want to stay here forever. Nothing is permanent. Right, nothing is permanent. So Sorry, I can't press in stop. a physical reality, the way you... Okay, that's wrong. Um, this is a permanent reality. The um, the universe is hugely old, and and it is permanent, and it keeps growing, and it keeps getting bigger. And if people go on to become gods, they can create um, th their own timelines in in the planet that they've given. So it is permanent. You know, it, it's going on and on and on and on and on and on. Um, and I. I, I'm very, very old, but who, who knows that the universe, if I die, uh, the uni universe might go on for a huge, like, a hundred million times longer than me. You know, I, I don't know, but I feel like it is, that makes it permanent. So what she's saying here about it not being permanent is, is not true. Earth is not permanent because Earth will die eventually. Um, you know, it will heat up, get closer to the sun, and then you'll have to move to Mars. Um, but that's a long time away because um, I don't... It's Mars is quite far away, and and I I don't know what's I don't know what the plan is I don't know what what will happen but I do know that um, this is a kind of permanent reality um, that but you can go in some ways but I, she doesn't know any of this stuff where is she getting her information from it's like she's just creating a fantasy in her head and then is promoting it as 
as this is the truth rather than these are all the things I believe but again by promoting this as good and bad move from one dimension to the next is that the body or the glacier or something has to die it has to not be in existence the physical form has to die like the glacier has to melt right so for the water to go back into this is right happen. so in this physical reality when the gazelle is being eaten by the lion is because the gazelle wants to leave this dimension and go to a different frequency that's yeah, what it wants to wants. become a different animal but because this is temporary and it's not permanent we all want to go to a different frequency or vibration at some point we all wanted to come here we all knew what earth was like we were not confused about it we knew that we would have a body we knew that wars would exist here we knew what the education no before you were born you probably had another life but before that before you were human before humans came earth you were all just animals and none of you had any clue what was going to go on in the future and likewise you still have no idea what's going to go on in the future um, I think you're making prophecies, but I, I don't... It's truth mixed with lies. Educational system was like, we knew everything before we came here. We we're extremely conscious before we pass through the veil and come to the earth realm. Um, so we're waking up in these experiences to recognize that we are part of creation. We are part of God. And seeing the beauty within ourselves allows us to see the beauty even in the energy leaving a being. You know, leaving a human being. I've sat at the bedside of many people as they so crossed. I gonna, uh, so I was going to say, like, that sounds great for the gazelle. <laughs> but when Grandpa John leaves, yeah, it's painful, you know. So what do you say to people who are, I'm not yelling at, I'm sure, oh, at know. the screen right now. Right. Or, or yelling at the at their iPad right, uh, right, that right. they're listening this uh, this thing on right now. Because that sounds very philosophical, Marie. Yeah. And very beautiful and very, very right. esoteric. Right. But when Uncle Bob or Uncle John is gone. Right. I feel that. And you're telling me that when, the, and I'm, I'm going to be. Oh, I know. I'm gonna, I, I'm I love gonna it. Go, I'm going to go, down, I'm yeah. gonna go down. I'm going to go down a hard road here. Yeah. Because I love you. Um, <laughs> so, it's a plan. So yeah. this is a, so it's either word. I use so blueprint or soup. Yeah. Soup, soup I see blueprints in the Akashic records. There's right. millions so, of them. So what you're saying <laughs> is that when we're on the other side, yeah. and I think this is pretty established at right. this point on the show, especially, right. specifically, when you're on the other side, you're like, I want to incarnate, uh, and I'm going to be, uh, my name's going to be Marie, I'm going to go with this family, they're going to be hippies, it's going to be insane. <laughs> um, I'm going to be eating, it raw, was, by the way. Be eating raw milk from a church <laughs> it's parking true. lot. It's true. Um, yeah. You know, I'll probably get sick, mate. The thing about that belief, the belief that you can choose where you go, you get to choose your family, you get to choose your name, I think the problem with that belief is that where does it leave judgment? You know, the, the matrix needs to assess you and put you to where you deserve, not where you want to be. You know, everyone would want to say, oh, I'd want the family that has, you know, the, the largest inheritance or something like that. And, and yeah, if, if that's, if you could choose, then it's, it's going to be incredibly unfair for, it needs to be what you deserve. So the belief that you can choose, it's just not, it's not realistic and it's not something that I have formed or created is you know not alive anyway so so you pick one you go well, i hope it's this one this is the plan you know this is the blueprint but we all have free will and we get to change our mind so sometimes when we come to earth we go okay well i've had enough and i i've already decided how i wanted to die and we and we we get excited about choosing on the other side, death on the right other side. on the other side we get very excited like well i haven't been shot in a while Ooh, maybe a, a car accident because so part of the decision making is do you want to go quick do you want to go slow and i'm not kidding when i say this it's so good she's saying how we have you have the right to choose how you die and yet in reality in england particularly you know well i don't know about the other places but you're not even allowed to have opt for a suicide option so no you cannot choose how you die i mean you should be able to choose um but yeah to think that you can do it before you've even been born i just she, this is delusional this is this is lies this is her her telling things that is completely not true and and it just why is this world full of so many liars you know this woman seems like a normal intelligent person so why is she just saying stuff that's just not true and why does she think she has the right or or knowledge to to give this kind of information or to know this kind of information when others don't you know it does make me question a lot of people you know there's a lot of people that say oh this person assaulted me or this person did this and this person did this and and they look like believable people who wouldn't lie 
But then this woman doesn't know anything about the other realm and she says that when before you are born you literally know everything that you've done in your life and and or you can control it you can choose how you die you can choose what you want you have free will and it's just like yeah there's a difference between free will and you pre-ordaining everything in your life i mean free will is this is my choice right now and i'm going to make it that is free will free will is not right now i'm going to make the choice for all the th all the things that i do in my future that that gives you control over your life and and i guess you would like to believe that that you'd have that but it's not the truth it's not the truth and yet people are promoting it as if it is the truth as if they know the truth and i'm going to stop this video because it's it's annoying me how people can um can just say lies and and say it as if this is the truth and it's and it's not how many people are there in the world that, that are like this that just say any old thing that they want to believe and present it as truth.